Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Ka Kaguya-sama Love is War on Season 2, which is on Episode 6, or Episode 18 overall in the, in the total number of episodes, you know? So, this episode right here, looks really um, simple, nothing much I can really give out, but um, maybe some minor detail stuff about what's what's been going on with this election. That much I can say, so if anything else, let's get this started. We had to it that this episode focuses on election day, obviously from the get go, and you know people making speeches of why th why this and that person should should get their nomination for the seat, you know. And we get to see to it that um, one of Miko Aino's um, supporters, which is um, which is the guy in the glasses, which I don't really bother um, remembering that much since like um, I don't see her like um, too much of a spotlight person for me to even think about, you know. She ends up making a speech of how Miko Aino or Miko Miko Chan um, is like a very good person, you know. She's very pure from the start. She's serious about what she does, and she doesn't like um, lie about what she what she's doing, you know. But with the way how it was, ha the way how the episode handled that is like when we get to see some people not really paying attention to her speeches, you know. That's one thing I can say for sure. Is like um, if they're not paying attention to you, you know, it's not gonna like make a lot of impact, and they're not gonna give much, give 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 a lot of care about it, you know. They go like, ah, whatever. It's just another person talking. Why should I even bother paying attention? It happens a lot in in society. I mean. Even when it comes to teachers or anyone making a speech, you know, they barely even listen or don't really give much care about it in the first place. That much I can say for sure. But aside from that, um, we see to it that um, Kaguya-chan or Kaguya-sama does her speech of how like um, through statistics, numer num numbers of how like um, because of under the leadership of Sh Miyuki Shirogane, we, we boosted up pretty greatly in the... In way better than the last couple of years. Like it shows the dates of 2014, 2015, 2016, so, uh, so on, etc. you know? Which are going, oh wow, now that's what I call like um, putting in statistics and making a, making a project, projected project about like um, let, let the destination of a class trip, you know, be, be about, you know, and that's that's got that's got like um, people like oh wow this guy thought of this thing and seeing how the, his previous accomplishments of becoming president, I mean we could get things going good again, you know, that kind of thing. So pretty much they're on, they got um, Shirogane, they, pretty much everyone seems to like Shirogane and it looks like to me the votes are actually into his favor. But now, here comes the real important stuff and this is where those who's trying to run for election is where they have to like, um, whatchamacallit, make an impression of why they should be elected. But we get to see to it that Miko-chan, or Miko Aino, however you want to call her, she has this thing called stage fright or something like she's never good with a lot of crowded people with, with crowds alone. Pretty much, if I had to say it myself, she sucks at public speaking in front of large crowds. That much I can say. We see too that she's really nervous and we get to know a backstory about her why she wants to do things in the right way and not in a way that could be very... That could be... That could be inappropriate or appropriate, you know? That kind of thing. She always wants to do things right in a certain way that's always a good thing. And, you know, she never gets to see her parents because they're always out there, like, I'm doing the things, you know. Like, one's doing vaccination distributions and the other one is, like, I'm taking care of some stuff that might be involved with government. I don't know. Don't really bother paying attention too much since they weren't okay. I am kind of screwed up or messed up for not paying attention to her parents. But, you know, they're just super busy, you know. That much I can just tell you. Overall, simple explanation but as the episode continues on of a backstory she tried to run for student council president you know because of this and that you know but you no know, people would just be laughing at her and just ridiculous her or just call her ridiculous you know she's not even worth mentioning and you know back then some kids just don't want her to be council president or even be in charge of some things because she's trying to take away that freedom of what what's considered to be like important in their life in elementary or childhood, how you want to pr pronounce it, you know. But even like um, Ishigami knows that this is one of like Miko Miko Chan's weaknesses, or that's one of her faults. The only thing that takes Ishigami off a lot, very much badly, is because people just laugh at her or or ridicule her because 
she's nervous and everything all together, but Shirogane, Shirogane, knowing that he, he's not going to stand around for this, he decides to go head-to-head -head against Miko Aino on stage and present her arguments, you know? Of course, we know that Miko Aino is like a stubborn person, but she's not strong. We've seen that in this episode of a backstory where she actually cried in the bathroom one time and her only friend that seems to support her a lot, the girl in the, the, girl in the glasses, yeah. But... We had to that Shirogane decided to step up and see to it, hey, isn't this ridiculous or something? But we had to it that she actually had no problem talking when she's arguing with Shirogane very much. And this actually showed her strong points and she ended up having statistics backing her up of how the strength of Shuchin's brand has been declining each day and year. I mean, look at us. I mean... Look at these numbers right here, etc. You know? And we have two involving like shaved heads or something. I'm like, oh my gosh, dude. That is just hilarious. Although I don't like the idea of shaved heads at all, you know? She thinks it's very cute and it'll get people to be on time, you know? I'm like, shaved heads. I mean, I don't know if she's trying to put that to boys and girls. I just find that really hilarious. I'm like, I don't think there's <laughs> anything good about that all the time, you know? It, it'd be awkward, but... <laughs> but... When Shirogane decides to argue against her that she's just wasting her time, she should just give up, but when but Shirogane went up there on purpose to get Mike Miko chan to like finally give out everything she wanted to say, you know? And that's where people started to like um, realize, oh wow, you're pretty good here and there. But either way, even though she made up her strong points here and there, everyone was actually so absorbed into the mood of what happened with Shirogane and Miko Aino arguing, you know, having a debate. And they were so absorbed into it, no one was able to stop them. I'm like, wow, dude, now that's what I'm calling. You know, Shirogane is a good guy, you know, even though he has that scary looking face all the time. He's always like, I'm that person always standing out for the right thing. Well, mostly. Who knows? But... Overall elections, you know, Mikko Shirogane wins, but he actually barely won by a certain margin, I believe. I mean, last time, la if the number st statistics served me correctly, it was about a couple, it was about like um, a couple vo couple votes here and there. But all I know is, is like um, he barely even won after he made that simple debate with like um, <laughs> Mikko Miko Chan, you know. But you know, like um, everyone actually. Loved Miko Chan the way how she actually went up against the president in the debate or argument. You know, it was really it was really impressive. I mean, like um, everyone says, oh, if you haven't went up against Shirogane at all, I could promise you this. I would I I would. <laughs> I think you would have won, but a lot of people rather appreciate Shirogane being there. You know, but she get she gets a lot of good um positive popular popularity. That's not something to be. That's something that you don't have to diss on all the time. You know that kind of thing. So um. Eventually, you know, we have to it that Shirogane does eventually um, offer a place on the student council placement for Miko Aino, you know? And eventually he will later on rehire like um, Fujiwara and Ishiga Ishigami to be in the positions, positions of a secretary and treasurer respectively, you know? Fujiwara for secretary, obviously, and Ishigami for treasurer. Obvious from the get-go. And, of course, like... Um, of course, there's also a position where Shirogane is thinking that um, was thinking that we're gonna need someone for a financial audit and be in charge of general affairs kind of thing. So it looks like to me, Mick Shirogane has someone for that position, and he implicitly or just like him offers a position to be on a student council president for Miko Chan. You know, he says like, um, look, you want to be part of the since you still want to try to run for student council president possibly for next year. What you? Don't you think it might be a good idea to like um get hands-on experience with me or something or with the group? Of course, like um Miko Chan's friend is not interested, but um, Miko's like, okay, I'll give it some thought about it. He goes like, yeah, if you're interested, just show up at the room tomorrow. We'll welcome you with big arms, kind of thing, you know. Kaguya Sama, uh, <laughs> she actually had a nasty old rant, seeing how like she, how like um. How her ranting was so hilarious and cute, you know? She goes like, Oh, I can't believe he did all my work and threw me away like buttercups or something in the garbage can. He never... It's like saying, like, this woman works so hard at a part-time job, gives up money to her husband, but he'll spend it all on gambling, smoking, drinking, and freaking, like, um... Ladies or something. Don't have to explain it there. If you watch the episode, you'll get the idea. 
she ends up having this funny mental instability, you know, saying like, she, he won't let me on the student party council, la la la, kind of thing. It was kind of very hilarious. And we had to it that, like, um, Shogun does show up, you know, and we have to it that he apologizes and says, yeah, I know... I know what I did was kind of messed up. I know you did a lot of good hard work with me for me all the time, but you see here, I'm going to tell you right now, I couldn't just stand there and just be a spectator and see her humiliate herself, you know, or just people like um, dissing on her. I just had to find a way to help out, kind of thing. And Kaguya -sa and Kaguya Chan or Kaguya Sama knows that that kind of thing, you know? And he knows that um and when he when he has Others like you and everyone else around, like, I could really do a lot of things, I could do anything. And he therefore offers, like, um, Shinomiya, can you be the vice president again? I need your help. And we have to it that she gives the freaking, like, okay sign when she's under the sheets and everything. And says, yeah, okay, I got your back, you know, kind of thing. Eventually, he gets happy and just runs off and says, I'll see you, see you tomorrow then, you know. And we have to it that Hayachan or Hayasaka... Ends up saying, you know, you don't really understand that the president gives you, like, spe good special treatment, right? That kind of thing. Eventually, we have to it, of course, um... What you may call it, um... That next day comes about, Shirogane, Fujiwara, Ishigami, and Shinomiya. They're all get, they all get ready for work, they all get ready to work hard again. And we have to it that Miko-chan enters the room, and she's gonna be part of the part of the circle of the student council president, which I go, yeah, this guy, this ought to be really fun, you know, that kind of thing. So, looking forward to see how this one goes out, but, yeah. Anyways, um, looking forward to the next episode and the ones after that. I mean, been having fun with this series every Saturday, and hopefully it'll continue on. So, until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.